Today we're going to draw this shiny blue eye using only a waterproof marker, crayons, or colored pencils. I started outlining the eye and it doesn't have to be perfect. Even though we're using crayons, you can alter the shape of the eye a little bit after you draw it. Now I'm drawing the pupil and a couple of lines above, there's broken lines and an idea of the eyebrow. Here's a circle for the pupil and two other circles within the pupil. Now when you draw the eyelashes, they can even go a little bit below the line of the eyelid. Make them go toward the one corner on the right and then toward the other corner on the left. The lower lashes are shorter. Make some lines going out from the pupil like the spokes of a bicycle tire. I outlined the outside of the iris slightly darker with shaky, broken lines to make it look more realistic. I started with indigo. Now I only used a set of 24 crayons and eight colored pencils. The area right underneath the eyelid is a little bit darker because typically the light source comes from above and the eyelid casts a small shadow onto the eye. I'm coloring in the pupil with black. I go a little bit lighter in the beginning because it's easier to correct mistakes even with crayons when you make lighter layers in the beginning. I've used a few shades of blue as I make those spokes more intense and detailed. Now I'm even using some green because no one's eye is just one color. In fact, almost nothing is just one color. I used apricot and I went all around the outside of the eye. I used pink on the inner corner. If you look at your eye, it looks a little pink there also. I also made a little bit of veins because even though it's the white of the eye, it's not pure white. As you can see, I'm still going very light here. And you can use any colors you want. I used the colors I chose because I thought they would be interesting. This is much pinker than you would typically see on a normal eyelid. And unless you have eyeshadow on, or maybe even a little bruise, there's not a whole lot of green on the eyelid, but I thought it would be really interesting. I'm even using green on the eyebrows. And I'm putting some of that same green on the iris. I'm pushing a little bit harder where the crease of the eye might lie on the lid. I'm going over the eyebrows with some brown and then I'm going to use that same brown underneath the lid back to green. This is green yellow actually and I even put that put some of that on the white part of the eye. You can slow down this video and color with me in real time. Underneath the video, there's a little wheel. It looks like a cog. Push that and you'll see settings. The first one is playback speed. The, pl the playback speed for this one is slightly faster, so you can increase it or decrease it. If you decrease it, it makes it slower and you can color along in real time. I've added some violet red on the lid and on the inner corner of the eye and made some veins in the eye to make it look more realistic. There's apricot and yellow orange. I also added regular orange on the lid. I outlined the iris with some blue some indigo and cerulean, which is a shade of blue also. I also used blue green on the interior of the eye of the iris. Here's some purple and I'm going to increase the value, meaning I'm going to make it slightly darker underneath the lid to make it look like there's that shadow and it adds some depth. I also added some of the purple to the eye just because I thought it was interesting. 
I used all different colors that you would normally not see on a regular eye, but I thought it looked really interesting and you can do the same. You can change the pink to green or green to blue, whatever you like. It doesn't have to be real. You can even, you can even make the eye purple or green or black, whatever you like. Here's some more pink on the lid. And some apricot over that. The eye almost looks done now, but I like to keep adding layers and different colors because it makes it look so interesting. I added some black to that eyebrow and I made the eyebrow a little bit longer just because I wanted to. Then I added some blue. If you add blue or purple to an image, it adds depth to it, meaning uh, it makes it look a little bit darker and it makes it look like it's in a shadow. I went over the pupil again with the black to make it look more perfect and you don't have to be perfect but it's fun when you get the details down. Here's that green blue and I was kind of going back and forth thinking there probably should be another area in the iris that just reflects the light so I would have to avoid coloring on it to leave it white. I didn't want to have to go in with a white marker or a paint pen. I only wanted to use Crayola crayons and pencils here. Now I didn't like that line right there that I that I did with with the blue but there was really nothing I could do. I can't really erase it so I tried to incorporate it into the rest of the eye so I took I think that's regular green and some yellow green and I tried to blend it a little bit it worked for the most part now I'm taking some orange and making a curved line on the outside of the eye as a fun detail now there is a little bit of an indent right there so I figured why not make it orange I'm using interesting colors Anyway, I made the brow once again bigger to make it balanced over the eye. Here's some black, and I do go back and forth with lots of colors, and it looks like it's very fast here, but it's um, twice as fast as it should be. So like I said before, you can slow it down. Now, here I'm going in one direction with the eyebrow, um, I'm sorry, eyelashes. And then I thought maybe the crayon is a little bit heavy to do eyelashes. So I started with the blue again with the eye. I'm going to make the eyelashes with a Crayola black colored pencil in a little bit. I made my eye slightly darker blue around the pupil and slightly darker blue around the very outside. I'm adding some more layers here and I'm just blending a little bit. at this point, just for fun. There's that violet red again. I add some more veins in the eyes. I made the corner of the eye on the outer edge a little bit darker with the green. Just for an interesting effect. I added some on the inner corner too for balance and into the eyebrow. For anyone still watching, thanks for watching. And starting October 1st, I'm gonna be creating spooky 
Halloweeny videos and shorts. So I hope you subscribe to me and follow because we'll be doing ghosts and haunted houses and even a few monsters. So join the fun. Now I'm using that Crayola pencil and I'm making some eyelashes. I always make the eyelashes a little bit shorter on the bottom. I'm also darkening up the brows a little bit. And adding some more detail to the eye. I thought this was a fun experiment because I didn't know if I could make a realistic looking eye using only Crayola crayons, but I really think it worked well. Now that's purple and I increased the shadows here. I really like the way this is coming out. I wish I could see what you're doing too. Thanks for watching, this was really fun. And stay tuned, I'll be drawing more how to draw realistic things with Crayola soon. See you later, bye.